think of no other way of shoring up the currency and shoring up a government that's looking increasingly a shattered one. Now that doesn't mean, that, uh, as Mr Baker has just said, his party have r rallied round because they've really got nothing else to do. But nevertheless, this is much more serious than the Westland affair when Michael Heseltine and Leon Britton went. If you want a parallel, you've got to go back to Macmillan's Night of the Long Knives when he sacked more than a third of his cabinet and effectively shattered the Conservative Party. And before that, you've got to go back to Nye Bevan and Harold Wilson resigning from Attlee's crumbling cabinet. So it's extremely serious. W one mystery, if, uh, and we don't know at this stage, Nigel Lawson said either Sir Alan Walters goes or I do, how come Mrs Thatcher has ended up the, this evening without either of them? Well, I think that from this distance, and once judging it from a distance, Sir Alan must have realised that his own tenure in Whitehall was impossible in the circle. We see them increasing in the number as they come across Western Ireland, up into Western Scotland, some very strong winds, especially up in the northwest here, with stormy winds later for Northern Ireland and Northern England. And that's what the weather chart will look ar around midnight tomorrow night. The low pressure just here to the west of Scotland, gales, severe gales, storm force winds coming down from the northwest. So tonight then, the rain pushing into Northern Ireland, Southern Scotland, much of Northern England, some of it quite heavy at times. Many southern counties, however, will become dry, but a good deal of low cloud, mist and fog, especially up in the hills. Scotland, on the other hand, apart from one or two showers in Shetland, will be mostly dry and clear, and that will lead to a frost. The temperatures falling to 0 degrees Celsius, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And before the cloud and rain arrives, there could be a touch of frost in Northern Ireland, Southern Scotland, and even parts of Northern England. In the south, becoming mild by morning, the temperatures are around about 13 or 14. Tomorrow morning, some brightness in the north at first, and after a dull start, some brightness in the south. During the afternoon, we could find some central and eastern areas becoming quite bright with the sunshine. But elsewhere, a good deal of cloud and rain, especially in Scotland, parts of Northern Ireland. Another band of cloud coming into western Wales and the southwest, and that'll be followed by one or two showers. There's another look at the winds as that area of low pressure goes up the western side of Scotland with gales or even severe gales in places. Turning out to be quite warm in central and eastern areas, the temperature up to 20, but feeling cold in the north. That's it from me. <laughs> Music's the real way of speaking. All the rest is just filling in time between gigs. And that's jazz. It's good sounds. Sounds that heal. All the, uh, the recent wounds are all healed here at Ronnie Scott's. People who emerge in jazz uh, tend to be not exactly alternative society, but they are rebellious, they're distinctive, they're personal. It is a very personal music. And jazz is classless. 30 years and all that jazz. Omnibus plays tribute to Ronnie Scott tomorrow night at 10.20 on BBC One. The extended news means that BBC One's programmes will be running just over 15 minutes later than published this evening. In half an hour, Peter Sisson's Question Time guests will be Deputy Shadow Chancellor Gordon Brown, Edwina Curry MP, Lord Rees-Mogg and Nalgo President Rita Donaghy. First on one, we've a tale of treachery, suspense and the horror of sharing a bed with Baldrick and his trousers as Blackadder goes forth.